My borders are infinite. I chart the paths of rivers and define the shapes of coastlines. Every part of me exists in unbroken connections, even if you can't always see them, and all of my paths end back where they began. My own image is reflected infinitely within myself, and perhaps even in you. My form may come to mind when you imagine the divine. I am... A fractal generated by the formula z equals z squared plus c? If you were like most kids, doing your math homework often had you asking, what does any of this have to do with my real life? Throughout history, how we should use math in our daily lives has been the topic of heated debate. Over 1700 years ago, the ancient Greek mathematician Euclid established the basis for modern arithmetic, and no one doubts the usefulness of arithmetic today. But 200 years before Euclid lived another Greek mathematician, Pythagoras, who thought of math in a completely different way. His followers treated math like a religion, even starting a cult that would supposedly kill you if you even spoke about certain mathematical concepts. Thinking of math as something spiritual might seem silly to us now, and yet some of history's best mathematicians might beg to differ. Isaac Newton, who invented calculus alongside his better-known achievements in physics, studied mysticism extensively. Believe it or not, he actually wrote more about alchemy over the course of his life than he did about math and science combined. And while he never figured out how to turn lead into gold, it's possible his mysticism influenced him to think outside the box and accomplish things his contemporaries only dreamed of. Another well-known scientist, Nikola Tesla, who's responsible for much of the electrical technology we use today, discovered mathematical patterns in energy, frequency, and vibrations that convinced him that the universe was a profoundly interconnected place. Even Einstein saw the harmony of the universe reflected in mathematics, as he stated, If I hadn't an absolute faith in the harmony of creation, I wouldn't have tried for 30 years to express it in a mathematical formula. The Mandelbrot set, that fractal you saw at the top of this episode, has been called the thumbprint of God by mathematicians out of respect for how awe-inspiring it truly is. And yet, even after years of study, there's a lot we don't understand about just this one fractal. And the enormity of what we don't know doesn't end there. Science has recently confirmed that around 95% of our universe is made up of a combination of dark energy and dark matter, about which we know almost nothing. In fact, everything ever observed by humans makes up less than 5% of our universe. But the fact that there's so much mystery in the universe isn't a bad thing. In fact, maybe it's something to celebrate rather than fear. As Einstein put it, the most beautiful thing we can experience is the mysterious. It is the source of all true art and science. He to whom the emotion is a stranger, who can no longer pause to wonder and stand wrapped in awe, is as good as dead, his eyes are closed. Rather than try to explain away anything they couldn't understand, history's greatest minds leaned into the mystery and often made discoveries that were previously unimaginable as a result. Speaking of mystery, it's time to see what's in the mystery box. Oh, it might be socks, it might be rocks. Let's see what's in the mystery box. Ooh, look, it's a pine cone. What does a pine cone have to do with the ultimate ninja powers of the universe? Everything. Now let's dive deeper into one of math's most mysterious creations, the fractal. As mentioned in the intro, there's a lot of crazy stuff about fractals that make them seem like little microcosms of the whole universe, despite the fact that they're generated using deceptively simple formulas. It's almost as if when Benoit Mandelbrot invented the fractal back in the 1970s, he cracked a little piece of the code that generates our reality. Fractals are made up of smaller and smaller self-similar parts, just like a tree branch, a coastline, or your hand. And they're infinite and yet contained, a concept I still have trouble wrapping my brain around, but our whole universe is also believed to be infinite and yet contained. Even our brains may make connections we're not consciously aware of due to fractals. Our neural networks have a fractal structure, and it has even been theorized that we think using a fractal thought process. That might explain why so much religious imagery seems to contain shades of the Mandelbrot set. 
Maybe our fractal minds were unconsciously trying to make us aware of the awesomeness of fractals even before we knew what they were. And speaking of hidden connections, did you know that the same ratio that governs the growth of your arm, hand, and fingers also governs the growth of a tree branch? Okay, maybe that last graphic is taking the comparison a little too far, but just like each band of color in the Mandelbrot set, which always comes around and reconnects back where it started, even if you have to zoom in infinitely to see how, everything in the universe is connected in ways we might not always see or realize. And knowing about these connections between everything that exists is one of the keys to unlocking the ultimate ninja powers of the universe! So join me next week as we travel further down the rabbit hole to explore hidden connections and new discoveries that might just blow your mind and perhaps convince you that we're all more alike and more connected than we've ever realized.